And I am now going to give you a brief introduction that will be available to you in addition to the videos that are in the lesson because um, several of those videos do not have audio. And I know that some people may prefer to have someone speaking as they're explaining how things look and move within the game. So you're in Minecraft 101, and this video is just giving you a brief overview of what it's like the first time you go into the game. When you're on the screen, you haven't clicked play yet. All you've done is log in. <clears throat> what you'll see here is you'll see a small coat hanger. This changes your appearance in the game and it is called a skin. So you click on the hanger and you will see the appearance that you currently have in the game. For most of you, the default skin when you first log in is Steve. So you probably look like this. You can change your appearance to any of the skins that are listed here. Students really enjoy this part and you more often than not have to give them a time limit on what skin they're going to use because they have to try them all on to see which one they like the best. When you've chosen the skin you want to use, you will see the confirm button here. Click confirm and it takes you back out to the menu. Now you can look at your settings menu. The best thing to do in this case is to just leave it at the defaults. However, <clears throat> if you are not using a keyboard and mouse and are using a touch screen, you might want to click touch. It defaults to keyboard and mouse. If you want are using a keyboard and mouse that's very easy to learn how to move around or you can do it with your trackpad on your computer um, you would just use whatever the motion is for a right click with your trackpad you need to differentiate between that and a left click because those are two different motions in the game so we're going to click play and you will get here to where you can view your worlds and these are worlds that you've already been in and have been saved in your library or you can view your library view the minecraft library and that's where we're going to go we're going to go to how to play and we're going to go to additional tutorials and we are going to go to Build a simple house. And you want to create the world. When you land in the world, you will notice that you have an NPC in front of you. And right now I'm in third person view. For what you're going to be doing and the way you default into the game, you default into first person, which will look like this. This is what you should be seeing on your screen. This is a non-playing character, also known as an NPC. Okay, if you look at the left side of my screen, you will see some letters that popped up and these are the keys on the keyboard and what they do w moves you forward s moves you backward a is to the left d is to the right you'll need to move using those keys within the game the good thing about Minecraft 101 is you have very little movement that you have to do and it will be easy for you to navigate this first lesson without any problem. So 
if you look, you'll also see if you want to jump up and down, you hit your space bar. If you want to fly, you hit your space bar twice. And as you can see, I've popped up in the air. And if I hold down my space bar, I'll keep going up. If I hit the shift key, I will go down. Okay. E is for your inventory. These are where you will find your materials to build. T is for chat. You will not be using that in Minecraft 101. And C is for code builder, which we will not be using in this game either. If you get to where you don't want these controls to show up here on your screen, hit the letter H and it will hide them. But if you decide you want them back, you can hit the letter H again and it will show you the controls. If I move forward, if you notice on the right hand side of my screen, you see the image of a mouse. And a right click with my crosshairs on the NPC will have the NPC talk to me. And he is going to give you your challenge and what you need to do. So you can click, let's go. If you look down there, it still says talk, but we're going to hit the W button and move forward to the kiosks that are in front of us. Okay. Now, this is where you're going to go. You're going to go to single player, build a house in your own individual world. In this case, you put your crosshairs on the button and you will right click. Or if you're using a trackpad, use whatever motion you use for a right click with your trackpad. This is going to take you into where you're going to build. Once again, you need to move forward, right click to talk to the NPC. And you are going to get the instructions to build your house. And you can move forward by clicking I'm ready and move forward. This is where you will build your house. Remember the letter E is for inventory. And here you will select your blocks for building. This block right here is construction materials. And you can do that or you can just go back to search and just use your scroll to look through everything. What you will do is you will move the blocks that you want to use to your hotbar, which is down here at the bottom. To do that, simply right click and drag it down. Oops. And when I close that again, by hitting E again, you'll notice that it's down in my hotbar at the bottom of my screen and you will see that block in the one number one spot. All this is explained within the lesson and the NPC that we just spoke to goes over it also. Now to place a block, you just right click and it places the block. If you decide you don't want that there and you want to break them, left click. And continue doing that as you build your house. Take your time and it doesn't have to be a big house. It's just four walls using two different building materials. Good luck and I hope you enjoy the game.